All right, S Code, now you have some work to do. Whoa. Draco? No, it's Fred from Accountant. Who do you think? Look, I came all the way from Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed just to tell you you need to do another What If support video. What? It's been a month since you've done the last one? Well, I'd love to, but I want to do a Halloween-themed episode, and I'm not really sure which archetype to use. Seriously? I mean, come on. There are plenty of archetypes you can do. What about ghost tricks? Nah, too obvious. Uh, burning abyss? Nah, too good. Vampires? Nah, they already got support this year. I've got it! Shiranui! Boring. Come on, you can't just do nothing. Well, I don't know. I guess I should do some archetype with a cool gimmick or some... Gimmick. Gimmick. Aha! I figured out something. What? What'd you come up with? Eh, you'll find out later. Now, I need you to go back in the shed. Yeah, but I just came down to get a... <sighs> yes, Master. Well, you guys heard the man. Welcome to the Halloween special of What If Support. Where I go over old archetypes Konami has made over the years and see if I can add some support to make them a little bit more playable. So, well, you guys already read the title. Gimmick puppets were used by Quattro in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexels anime. Their main theme was going into rank 8 exceed summons as fast as possible. The main problem that most gimmick puppets have is trying to get themselves on the field. So, the support that I made basically focuses around fixing that issue. Other than that, I mostly have nothing else to say, so... I'm Escode Knight, and here's the support I came up with for Gimmick Puppets. Thank you for watching another episode of What If Support. So what did you think of these cards? If you've got your own suggestion of which archetype I should do next, drop a comment down below. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time, and have a happy Halloween.